you guys, today's play Die in the Dungeon. So this is a turn-based deck building roguelike. Yes, pretty much just another one of those that you find uh, everywhere these days on Steam. Um, there's a lot of these games coming out because it's, I guess it's a trend to make deck building roguelikes and stuff. But yeah, uh, it's another one coming out later this year, 2024. This is the demo. Why not check it out because it's free to check it out. All right. And yeah, if you guys haven't noticed already, it's another typical retro, pixelated type of uh, graphics. I mean, that's pretty much what you expect from indie games. But yeah, let's see. Let's see how this one uh, will play out. Okay, this time we have dice. Okay, grab your dice and drop them on the board. Okay. I guess this game is called Die in the Dungeon because you're. Is it like a dungeon crawler? <laughs> uh, sure, I don't know what. where to put them, but. Okay, moving a dice back into my hand. Okay. What does it matter where I put them? Matter where I put them? Okay. Finish. Okay. Uh. Oh, uh, sure. Boost dice. Okay, so we get boosted to twos. Use dice to attack. Interesting. Oh, it's a bit different, I guess, than other combat systems. All right, so you have your typical. Uh, this is what I call a typical roguelike type of interface. <laughs> you basically, you go on a run, and then you see how far you can go. Basically, that's, uh, that's what you happen. What you do in a roguelike. Okay, so uh, should we go here? Mandatory battle. What should we do here? Okay. Movement dice and go here. We do a mandatory battle. This enemy special. Tasty modifier. Okay, I guess we'll always just go with the most powerful dice. Is that right? And I fight as a frog. My main character is a frog. You guys haven't noticed. Um, okay, let's do this. I don't get to choose who I attack or what. Here's our uh, little choice here, and where we get most roguelikes is we get to choose. Um, so I guess we'll do this. We get to choose some upgrade. Yeah, most roguelike games you get to choose some kind of upgrade for your character because it's different per run. Uh, let's see, heal HP. I don't even know what what is my HP. Sure, let's do that then. Battle. We have to do a mandatory battle. Thank you. 
right, let's keep going. Discard one, remove all properties. Skip? <laughs> I'll just skip that one then. I don't wanna, I don't like that, those choices. Way we gotta battle something. Okay, four. Interesting. What's this one? Yes, yeah, so we'll choose that one. Then. I'm almost out of health, so I'm gonna die soon, probably. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so that's where I basically want to run is. We can try another run, but uh, let's see. I know what I'm doing or not. <laughs> Don't think I know what I'm doing, but. fight. This guy looks tough. I can't recover any health though. I'm dead. guys let's die in the dungeon um yeah it's your typical roguelike i don't think anything special about this one other than that you use dice so the dice mechanic is interesting cool but uh i don't know to me i don't really know how to use it very well i don't even know what like okay well what's the benefit of putting some a dice in a certain spot i don't know so it's a little bit confusing to me so anyways i'm not like a huge fan of that system it it looks interesting but i'm not really like a huge fan of it but anyways, Dying Dungeon, another roguelike to try out. <laughs> Yet another deck-building turn-based roguelike to check out. Alright, see you guys, thanks for watching.